Good afternoon. It is around the 5th of February and winter is well underway. And so that brings us to activities that we normally don't do during the summer months when we're busy with our planting and harvesting and figs and produce and so on and so forth. So I like to take this time of year to do a, some traditional things, some traditional family things that I'm going to speak to you about in a moment. But this is one of my favorites for wintertime activities. And it, of course, involves figs and, of course, organic figs and almonds. And I'm going to show you how I do this. And I'll, I'll be back in one second. I'm back. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about some of the tradition, the Italian traditions that I grew up with. And there are many, many sections of Italy. And the people that are from Italy are very proud of the specific section that they might be from. They might be Nebula Don from Naples, or Bruzzese, or Roman, or Sicilian. And there's lots of others, okay? My father was born at the foot of Mount Vesuvius, not far from Pompeii in a little town called Frata Maggiore, okay? And he was very proud of that region, and I am too, because half of me originates from that area. The other half of me comes from my, my mother, and her family came from the Valle of San Juan, Valley of San Juan is a translation, I believe, and it's a Bruxelles, they call Bruxelles, and it's a sort of like central, eastern Italy, and it's sort of mountainous, you know? And I can go on and on about this subject, but my family and, and the, the group of Italians that I pretty much grew up with, we never did this tradition, okay, that I'm going to show you. But my good friend, Vito, from New York, his family did. And generous Vito, as he always is, he sent me one time a jar of these figs that were prepared, figs that were pre dried figs, so you can do it in the wintertime, okay, that were prepared with this Giuliano uh, liquor, which is so exquisitely delicious with this mixture and this combination, okay? And it involves almonds, but you can use some cashews, and it involves uh, putting the almonds in the figs and then pouring a little bit of this over top of them in a nice jar, put the lid on, okay? You make a little slit in the fig and you shove the, the almond down in there. And again, you can use other types of nuts if you want to, and I do, and I experiment with them. And then you shake it all around, okay? Let it soak in for a few days or a week. You can put it in a refrigerator after the first day. And then it is exquisite. It is so delicious. I'm so glad that my friend Vito shared his family tradition with me. And now this has become a family tradition with us and my wife Debbie, we just we just love this time of year to do this, and you can do it any time of year. You don't have to wait because there's fried there's fried free figs uh, available everywhere, like at Costco and other places. And you can get them, so and you can get the the almonds and the nuts and so on and so forth. So now I'm going to pause and I'm going to show you just real quickly how I do this. Okay, you might. Okay, so here we go. I just want to show this very quickly. This is so, so easy to do and so worth it. You, you will love this, okay? I don't know if you go for this sort of liquor or anything like that. You don't have to drink it. You're just using it. It soaks into the figs, okay? But I promise you, this is made from like 21 different herbs. It's just a fantastic thing. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it is absolutely de delicious. I have to warn you though, it's very expensive, but it's very, very good and worthwhile. And this will go a long, long way. You can make many of these jars of figs over the course of the winter or any time of the year, as I mentioned before. Okay, so you just get a few figs. And here I can show you what they look like, okay? And you just get them. And I like to get a fork and I like to punch holes in a couple spots, just a couple spots, good and deep, that allows the Galliano to absorb or get soaked in, in deeply, okay? Then I take a knife and I just make a slit and I push it down pretty deep and work it both ways. Very, very easy. Just make a place for the almond, 
then you take the point, the point of the almond, and just simply shove it in to the thing and then close it. You don't have to be completely closed because you want some of this to soak into that, okay? And that's it. That's the end of it. Then you put them in the jar, pick a nice jar. This is our favorite. And pour this just a little bit, maybe a cup in a jar like that. I wouldn't even say maybe not even a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup. And you just pour it slowly over, put the lid on, tighten it good so it doesn't leak. And then you just roll it around, shake it around, up and down, diagonally, upside down. And every couple hours you just turn it over or lay it on its side and give it a little roll, give the barrel a roll, okay? And you get the message, I'm sure, you get the idea. And it will start to soak into the figs. It will soften these hard figs, these dried figs, and make them nice and soft, not too soft, but just right. And then it is exquisite. And I have to warn you a second time, okay? Not only is it easy to do, but it's a it's addicting because it's just so delicious. You're gonna want more and more. I can't, we just can't leave them alone. We'll go through this jar in a couple days and then we'll make another jar, okay? So there, here, see if we can get a little close up of that. So here we go, just get, get some almonds if you wanna put some cashews or some pecans or whatever your favorite nuts are, but almonds traditionally go with this, okay? So this is a, something I thought I would share with you and I, I hope that you will try it and you will enjoy it as much as Debbie and I do. And with that, good day. It's time to have a few of these for dessert now. I'm hoping that you'll give this a try. I promise you it's well worth the effort. I'm looking forward to spring, looking forward to working around my fig trees and getting my garden started, looking forward to the end of winter, and certainly looking forward to, to spring in that regard. Okay, we just uh, got through a, a significant cold snap. I'm sure most of the country, most of the people out there, and most of the areas of the country are familiar with what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching. Good day.